Hi guys, it's me again. I'm John and welcome to this video about my gesture controlled holographic display. Now for this project we were tasked to create a gesture controlled product because of the difficult circumstances due to COVID-19. I used user-centered design as a method to identify problems or things that people don't like touching. The identified problems included touching money, touching weights, touching doors and touching groceries. I brainstormed on all of the above mentioned ideas and it was fun because they could have been, you know, blue sky and really random ideas just to get the process started. I then chose the grocery problem and the main problem is that there are a lot of people that touch the groceries and then put it back which is highly inappropriate during this pandemic. I then, you know, thought about why, why would people do this? Why would people touch groceries? and put it back and it seemed like people actually want to know about the information that are on the products. So I then decided to create a holographic display where viewers can access this information in certain sections of the grocery store without needing to touch the physical products to read the information. Through sketching I was able to understand how I am able to create a holographic display and then I started exploring possible forms for the display and with the help of my sketching I made a few mock-ups to see what shapes I prefer. I was then able to refine my idea again before doing the CAD and the final prototype. I was able to do the CADing based off of my sketches and CAD helped me to figure out suitable dimensions and it was really nice to refine the idea even more. Finally, it was time for figuring out the technical components. I made use of a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and a Flick Hat. I was able to run the code, but something isn't right and hopefully I'll figure it out soon. I then made my final prototype and here it is. So you're probably wondering how it works and here is an explanation. For my first submission, the idea was that the user would gesture up or down to browse through products and left or right to view the product's information. As my idea developed technically, I changed it so that the user now would gesture left or right to browse through products and if they would like to know more about the product, they would simply gesture up or down. Product information that is included in the display is the product's nutritional information, details, allergens, dietary information and ingredients. Now as you can see the flick sensor is located at the bottom of the prototype which allows for easy interaction. There are also icons showing the user in which directions they can gesture so that they can easily understand the product. Thanks for watching, stay safe and remember to subscribe.